Have it. And here comes the blitz. Attack, attack, attack. Bends him down to the backfield for a sack. Have it. And he's going to be taken down. He's sacked. Something we really try to identify ourselves with. Big blitz coming. Here comes Snowden again. And Charles Snowden, his second sack. Anything that causes uh, like havoc in the game for us defensively and, and helps change the, the turn of the game, helps get the ball back in the offense's hands or helps us uh, better our field position. We want to disrupt the offense as much as possible and we do that through sacks and TFLs and PBUs. So if, uh, if I give one word, I would say disruption. Havoc is and has proven to be disruptive so far this season. It is the name given to the defense's new attack mentality. It started in the spring and then uh, that's just been our focus. I mean, it's fun making plays. Like when you can make a play, celebrate with your teammates, that's, that's what football's all about, just running and hitting. And so uh, the coaches kind of presented that to us and the guys really embraced it early on. All the coaches did a great job of kind of pushing the idea of havoc on us and emphasizing the importance of that uh, and being able to be dominant in football games, especially on the defensive side. I think when the coaching staff first got here it was a lot more, you know, traditional 3-4. We were reading our blocks, you know, taking, you know, read steps, stuff like that. And then they, you know, over time it's really starting to transition the type of personnel we have to just attack, attack, attack. And I know Coach Vic loves havoc. He loves sacks. You know, he's that's what he was good at uh, when he played in TFLs and stuff like that. So now that our defense has the opportunity to uh, attack more and blitz more and, you know, as I said, disrupt more, I think it's exciting for uh, not only the players, but the coaches too. Let's go! All on these way! All on these way! Yeah! Playing complimentary football, helping get the ball back in the offense's hands, helping getting the offense get good field position and also um, helping us kind of increase our defensive production, which is what, what's happened thus far this year. In the first five games of the 2019 campaign, the Virginia defense has racked up 44 tackles for loss, including 24 sacks. The defense had 26 sacks all of last season. That increase has been realized primarily by the linebacking core. I already have more sacks this year than I had last year, so I say that's already an improvement that I can be better, but I still think play in, play out, I have a lot of room to improve um, just from the physicality standpoint and in the playmaking just not just being in my gap, but owning it, going to make the play. One of the keys to the 16 sacks recorded by the linebackers thus far has been the play of the defensive line, reinforced in the middle by freshman nose tackle Jawan Briggs. We finally have a group of guys we can rotate now, some depth for me, an older guy, to know that he's going to do his job, and Bernie too is an older guy, but you know, Aaron, Mandy, all those guys we get in, to be able to trust Jawan that he's going to do his job and do it at a high level, it's huge and it helps us play with more confidence as a unit. College football is all about kind of coordination with the defensive line, especially with the outside linebackers. So all the stunts we run, I mean, it's, it's very important to kind of be in coordination and harmony with the guy inside of you, the, the defensive end, the nose guards. I mean, with Havoc, you have to run a lot of different stunts, and uh, it's very important that we're all on the same page. So they've done an awesome job. I mean, mostly credit goes to them. Despite the increased numbers, the unit is still looking to improve and to maximize their effect on the outcome of each game. There's still a lot more that we can do. I mean, we have zero forced fumbles this year, so uh, that's something we're trying to emphasize is getting the ball out, causing more turnovers. We have some pretty high goals for ourselves, so uh, being able to achieve those requires a lot from us and a lot from our coaches, but they do an awesome job of putting us in a great position to do that.